Good morning from Kusadasi, Turkey, where the local time is 7.20 a.m. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here, the fifth day of our cruise on the Celebrity Apex. What an incredible day it's going to be. So a beautiful morning underway here. I've already gone up and had breakfast, and I'll put a clip of that in. It was delicious. Uh, the buffet was packed. I did notice, though, here's a little pro tip for you. And I, one I probably should take up on my own, and I probably will as the cruise goes on. But there is the Spa Cafe right in the solarium on deck 14, just right by the elevator bank. Just go out the doors into the solarium. No one was there. And they have really good healthy takes. They have some bagels. They have a lot of smoothies. They have fruit, things like that. And if you want a quick, maybe light bite to eat, uh, remember that that's there because then you go on down into the Ocean View Cafe and there are just ton everybody's in there, tons of people. Uh, you might have to wait a little bit longer for your coffee or your water or whatever. Um, but if you're in a hurry, you can just grab something from Spa Cafe. I intend to go there at some point in the cruise and I'll show you that. Um, but every time I've gone there on other Edge class ships and even on Equinox when I was on it, it was really good. So um, yeah, I said the time was 7:20. I have nine minutes now to get to the theater get checked in for my excursion. Today we are going to visit the house of the Virgin Mary and then we are going to go visit the ruins of Ephesus and this is a huge place. I've been before, I've been to Turkey once before to Kusadasi and went to Ephesus. Uh, but today I get to take you along with me and I'll show you uh, some highlights of the trip. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get this adventure here in Kusadasi started. Let's follow the group out. So we have called group number four as well as group number five. different part of Turkey, we can feel at home, we can feel at home, because this is the mother of our Lord. So this is the house of the Virgin Mary, and you might be asking yourself, how did Mary end up her last years of her life in Turkey, in western Turkey, away from Jerusalem? Well, as the story goes, when Jesus was being crucified and dying on the cross, he looked down from the cross at his mother and said, Mother, behold your son, referring to John, one of the followers of Jesus. And then to John he looked at and said, Son, behold your mother. So John was then the protector of Mary after Jesus' death. So a few years after Jesus, they actually left Jerusalem and ended up here near Ephesus. Now the house of the Virgin Mary was actually not discovered until the 19th century when a Roman nun had a dream about the house. And she actually went to some priests and told them the exact location that she had seen it in her dream. And when they came, they found this stone house. It's said in the early 1960s that the Catholic Church did affirm that this was the house of the Virgin Mary. And in fact, many popes have visited the site. And the site has become a place of pilgrimage for millions every year.
Not far down the mountain from House of the Virgin Mary is actually the ancient ruins of Ephesus. And this archaeological site is actually one of the largest in the entire world. Ephesus was a prominent city on the coast of Asia Minor uh, thousands of years ago. So of course this meant it was very crucial for things like commerce and trade as folks sailed along the Aegean Sea they could stop in Ephesus. However, if you look surrounding Ephesus now there's no water. The river near Ephesus has actually silted out so much sediment that it pushed the ocean back about four miles currently. Over its history many different types of people lived in Ephesus. There were Romans, there were Greeks. Uh, of course at some point Christianity came to Ephesus. There was a church at Ephesus that's directly referenced in the Bible. Cleopatra even spent some time in Ephesus and in fact her sister Arsenius actually died or was killed rather by her sister Cleopatra in Ephesus. Another notable figure who died in Ephesus was Saint John. He is the only disciple of Jesus to have not been killed in some way. He actually died of natural causes at the age of 97. But that's not before he was exiled from Ephesus for a time. He was exiled to a nearby island just off the coast of what is now Turkey, and that island is called Patmos. St. Paul made two trips through Ephesus on his many missionary journeys, and he would come and preach to the Ephesian people, and he was jailed here at least once that we know of. Now while you can see from the clips and all the videos that I'm inputting here that there's a lot to see, there's a lot to Ephesus, there's a lot of ruins here. This is only about 20% of what they believe Ephesus would be. So there's a whole 80% still covered by earth that they're still digging today. Just beyond the marketplace, you'll start to see the Grand Theater. This is a 4,000 seat venue that had some really good acoustics apparently. In fact, modern day musicians have even come. Musicians like Elton John and Ray Charles have actually played in the Grand Theater here in Ephesus. and out of the rug presentation uh, but the market here in Kushidasi is right here uh, and you can see back over here is the ship and the port area so if you just wanted to come here and get off the ship and maybe not go to Ephesus or to see uh, anything else on an excursion you will notice that there are uh, a lot of shops here there's a lot of shopping there's a lot of restaurants down that street right there it's actually the road that we took to get to Ephesus um, so there's Quite a bit of things to see and do right here in the immediate port area in Kushidasi. Alright, so I'm back in the room now. It is 12.30, so I left here at 7.30, so about five hours, about four and a half hours as total was what the tour was, and I walked around the port area a little bit just to check it out when I got back uh, to the port area of Kushidasi, but a great day, a great tour. I really enjoyed getting to see House of the Virgin Mary. That was really remarkable. It was a Sunday when we visited, so there were some folks up there. Uh, having a service that was really cool and then exploring the ruins of Ephesus that was neat as well. I'd been here before uh, back about six or seven years ago but it was still really neat to see again and I'm glad I got to get some shots for you. Um, apologies I wasn't able to vlog as much in real time. There were just so many people and it's some of these sites and I feel like it's going to be this way the whole trip like it's not good to walk around while a tour guide's talking and I'm trying to talk and get footage too especially in some of these holier places where folks are trying to be observant. So uh, I'll do as many voiceovers as I can for you to inform you of what you're seeing in the videos. But I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Um, we still have more day left. It's only, yeah, not even one o'clock. Now I have a day and a half just to be on board the Apex and relax before we get to Israel. So I'm really excited about that. But I'm gonna flip you around here and just look at this view. Look how stunning the day is here. 
in Turkey. Beautiful. Sun is shining. I'm telling you, we just cannot ask for better weather this trip. It's been gorgeous every day. And I hope that continues um, as we continue throughout the course of the cruise. We're only a third of the way through, so a lot more content uh, and excursions and things like that to come. <laughs> everybody and let me tell you why it's a good evening uh, look at that back here behind me whoa look how incredible that is that sunset okay you sit on the water the islands back here wow there's such beautiful scenery here in the Mediterranean I encourage you right now go find a Mediterranean cruise for the next couple or few years whenever you can afford to get here and come to the Mediterranean. Don't go to the Caribbean again. You've been to the Caribbean too much. You know I'm talking to you. Book that Mediterranean cruise because it's spectacular. I'm having such a great time. We're just on day five. We have so much more to go. Uh, but now it is 6.20. And speaking of somewhere to go, I've got to be down to Eden by 6.30. So i got to make this quick. I did want to say that my tour today was called Ephesus and Virgin Mary's House. And I booked that through Celebrity. And it actually only cost me $65, but I got it on a pretty good sell. And I think it's for me about 100 and I misspoke yesterday, too, when I talked about my tour to the Acropolis. That was also only 65 So I think both of those are regularly 100 But if you book your tour through Celebrity, through the cruise line, and you go on the cruise planner later on and you see that the price has dropped, you can cancel your existing reservation for your excursion and rebook it at the new price and get that savings. So actually refund your money back to your credit card or onboard credit or however you paid for it initially. Just make sure that you are getting the original tour and time. But if everything's the same, you can cancel, rebook, uh, and, and get that saving. So I always do that. So it's glad. Uh, really good tour for the $65. Really good tour. At the end, I don't know if I mentioned, but they did take us to um, a Turkish rug center and try to get us to buy some rugs. They gave us, uh, there was like apple tea and wine and all kinds of cookies. And they gave us this tour. They let us walk on the rugs. And then they try to sell us. So, but that's just pretty typical. I think that's some agreement with the cruise line and the companies and uh, Kushidasi. Because remember, they do make a lot of their money and a lot of their uh, economy comes from those rugs. So that's why they do that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head down to Eden for dinner. Oh, I did want to say, um, Eden can get really full now. So if you are sailing on one of the Edge Class ships and want to eat at Eden, and I highly, highly recommend that you do because it is the best place to eat at sea you won't beat it uh make sure you book it before the cruise because i've already heard this cruise people can't get reservations it's booked up completely i booked mine before the cruise so that's how i'm able to go tonight but if you want to go to eden and yes you do make sure you book it before you come on your cruise so i'm going to stop talking now uh let me turn the camera around here and show you the sunset and then let's go to eden I have just eaten everything on the ship probably because I have Eden was good at the end they did give me a survey wanting to know how the service was I've never had that happen before so I think um, and I was hearing from some of the crew they're thinking of ideas for the ascent which comes out in December of 2023 so I think they're starting to figure out what they're gonna do with that I've already heard of some changes I'm not gonna spill the beans here but I was talking to some people who know uh, on this cruise um, and the ascent sounds awesome. It's going to be even different than the beyond. So I was happy to hear about some of that, um, but I won't share that just yet. In tomorrow's video, I'm going to show you 
what I packed for this trip because a lot of folks have been asking me that in the last few months. What do you pack for a trip? Can you do a video on it? So in tomorrow's video, I absolutely will. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been a great day exploring Turkey. Love Turkey. Highly recommend. If you've never been to Kusadasi, if you've never been to Turkey, uh, Western Turkey is absolutely beautiful as you've seen from the clips. So much history, so many cool things to see. It's been an amazing day. Today was probably my favorite so far as far as like tours go and uh, the excursions go and the value and all that. So that's it. I am uh, going to go to comedy. It's 9.30. I'm going to go to comedy here. They're having a late night comedy with the comedian that they had on the first night. But I'm going to say good night to you now. But I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And until tomorrow, I'll see you on the next adventure. Good night, everybody. Bye.